Once I get used to the skin, now I can't stop getting naked. When it's being used, stop feeling boring. I'm like a fucking real life alien. As a lot of you guys may know, I have a lot of clothes and a lot of them do not get no attention. And I'm in this position in my life where I just want a new beginning. Clothes carry energy. So it's about time I let some of these clothes go, you know? Some of them will definitely be going to Goodwill. Another batch will definitely be posted on my Poshmark. So hopefully by the time you guys watch this, at least some clothes are on my Poshmark. If not, keep an eye out. I'll post them in like a week or two. But yeah, I'm excited. Let's clean my closet. Okay, guys, we are in my closet. Here's how it's looking. And honestly, it's not that bad. Walking in to my shoes we love her i actually got this jewelry box recently which has been so helpful because now i'm not losing my jewelry and then over here we have all my clothes right here used to be only dresses but i have a lot of clothes that i've gotten like sent to from brands and i have nowhere to put them so this is where they're going here's over here down here i have some stuff i just gotta declutter that then we come over here i hate that up here has so much stuff so we're gonna take some of that down and then over here and then I have like a fresh pile of laundry that is clean And then I have some boots down here And this is a pile of clothes that I really want to sell My closet is like not too bad I've been doing my laundry a lot more frequently Which is really rare because if y'all know me, y'all know I hate doing laundry I will wait until I have to do laundry But recently I've been trying to be a lot better at that So what we're gonna do is grab clothes that I don't want Or that I want to sell And we're gonna put it all into one bin I'm hoping that by the end of this I have hella space in my closet so that I can buy new clothes <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to show you guys a few stuff that I got from the thrift store Recently, I've been thrifting again and it's so fun. I love it. I've been finding a lot of really good pieces Number one, I got these cute earrings. Yo, it's a star I got this purse here, which I got it maybe like a half a year ago But I'm just showing you guys because it's so cute and look I put a bow on it Look at this one y'all. It's just a simple black one But if I'm being honest, I don't have a simple black leather one. So I had to get it. She is so cute This was a steal. I think I paid maybe like seven dollars. I also got this purse Look how cute she is. Leather, brown, white, sleigh. I'm gonna save the best purse for last, but this is the second best purse I got. Look at her. Pink. I thought this would be really cute as like a work bag. I'll put my laptop in here if she fits and my iPad. So me. It's like hot girl mixed with soft girl. This is my favorite purse I got. Guys, look at her. Just look at the details, the slight pink and the leather. This was such a good find. I'm so happy and I literally cannot wait to style this. This is the bin for all the clothes I'm gonna sell. She's big. I got her from Ikea. So let's go. I have a feeling all the clothes I'm selling is gonna overflow this one. So we're gonna make both of those selling bins. Let's get to it! When I tell y'all I needed this declutter bad, I mean I needed it bad. I had like no hangers left. That's probably like 10 under 10. I am sick of buying new hangers. So here we are decluttering my closet finally. This only took maybe like three to four years, but it's okay. I started off with my shorts and then I went on to the colors. As you guys know, my closet is color coordinated. Back to the topic of the shorts though, I got rid of so many shorts. I probably only have like four left. This blue dress though, I low-key had a hard time getting rid of that because it's giving me flashbacks to the good old days when I had blonde hair and I definitely would say I have an attachment to my clothes. Like literally every single piece has a special place in my heart. But you know what? That's gonna make me become a hoarder. That's literally how a hoarder starts off. So I have to let them go. Alright, so we're done with this little row or little section. Moving on, I bought this white thingy from Ikea. You can put whatever you want things like this, but I think I'm gonna put my t-shirts in here because I have no space for my t-shirts. I like to wear my t-shirts to like bed and stuff, so I want it to be really accessible. I at first had them in my drawer, but like I never could fit more than like six shirts, so it's good to have it like this now because now I can just grab it and it's not taking up space because I was putting it in my underwear drawer and that shit was getting really, really full. Here's how it's looking and here's how much clothes I was able to get rid of. It already filled the whole bin, y'all. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Now we're moving on to this section. This is my favorite section. This yellow and orange outfit is the next outfit I'm gonna wear to a rave. I'm so freaking excited. But I really wanna get rid of stuff from this section because I know that the new clothes I'm gonna get is most likely gonna be pink and white. Those are my favorite colors to wear, probably. So we really need to make space because I'm trying to go shopping. I 
am not gonna lie y'all she looking a little empty this is making me so sad suddenly i just want to keep it all again just so that i can like fill up my closet because this is sad but this is how much clothes i literally do not wear these days my closet is gonna look like a naked mole rat for a little bit Take me away from Moving on, these are my long dresses. I have a whole bunch. As I said earlier though, I mixed it with a lot of new PR, which is basically gifts from brands. They're not all dresses, but I keep them in this section because sometimes the pieces are super long and this is the only part of my closet that has the length space for long dresses. I mean, you know, I created it that way. By the way, if you guys don't know, this entire closet was custom to my liking. I created that when I first moved into this house, which is my parents' house. Y'all, I forgot I own this. I'm literally about to wear this for a rave. If that's the case this is so cute i can't believe i forgot about this this needs to be front and centered so that i don't forget about it So currently all the hangers I have are right here. I didn't get rid of a lot of these shirts because it was really hard to. So I ended up getting rid of more on this side, which the stuff I got rid of are more so like mini dresses. I have no idea how I'm going to sell all of this. And I have more hangers. I've got this pile of laundry that I need to organize random thought but like the other day i went to raising canes i was ordering my food and then the girl goes can i get a name for the order and i was like sandy she's like this that name matches you and i was just here like thanks what does that mean is that a thank you though like should i say thank you is that a good or a bad thing because like you guys know i do not really like my name i feel like the name sandy it's giving karen if you ask me she was like you match that name like you just look like a sandy you guys let me know in the comments if you guys think my name matches me and if you guys think the name sandy is a good or a bad thing because i am genuinely wondering you guys i just got this thrifting y'all know i really love wearing blue not gonna lie i kind of want to wear this for the rest of the video because i am cold i got this orange scarf guys like it's like orange and red ombre i am not wearing this as a scarf actually maybe okay it's kind of cute but i actually got this so i could wear it as a skirt oh i also got this one i also got this one for the same reason my sports bras i have a lot sports bras and bralettes are in here but it's so full and i know i don't wear all this stuff in here so we're gonna take a lot of them out because a lot of them are from years ago too the amount of sports bras i have is honestly so concerning but if you guys have been watching me for a while you guys know i low key be dressing like half naked i love me a good crop top but because i'm literally five feet and i have a really short torso a lot of times crop tops are still a little too long for my liking so i just go for bralette hashtag short girl hack Okay, let's take a little break. I said I got those scarves from the thrift store, right? Let me show you guys like a simple, basic little fit that I would wear with the scarves as a skirt instead, you know? Inspo fit number one. Y'all see the way this skirt is fitting? A cute little brown fit is probably how I would go with this scarf. So cute. The skirt, the bag, the shoes are thrifted. The top is from Princess Polly. So this is how I would style like something like this. Would I go out with this? Absolutely. Yeah, this skirt is so cute. Second scarf. This is like this hot pink orangey ombre also sunset -y skirt. But yeah, I'm wearing this hot pink purse because everybody knows your purse has to match the fit. I swear I was supposed to be raised in the Y2K era. I mean, I was raised in it, but like I was raised as a baby and I wish I could have lived it, you know? There's literally no fashion era that I match more than the Y2K era. You can't tell me nothing. You literally can't. Let me show you guys some more bags that I've thrifted. If I go thrifting, I feel like the number one thing I usually try to find are cute bags. I don't know. I just have such a thing for like vintage bags. Anyways, you guys saw this one in my other outfit. I love the hot pink, how it's so mini. I also thrifted this one, which is really similar, but this one's not as cute, but I still like it. This is my little coach bag. 
bag. This is one of my favorites because number one, the color, the brand, the details. I literally wear this all the time. I feel like out of all the bags that I have thrifted in my life, this is probably the one I wear the most. I love this one. This one is also one of my faves, but I don't wear it often because of how small it is. But it's just a brown coach bag. But the sad thing is that it is so tiny, so I feel like I can't really put much in it. Like the only thing that'll fit is my phone and like a lip gloss or something. Then I got this bag. Look at how cute this is. This is by Dooney and Burke. Their vintage bags are so fucking cute. I feel like they're so underrated. But it's just red with like this jean and like, oh my god, guys. It's in such good condition. Whoever bought it just never wore it. I'm gonna put my other cute thrifted bags up there. All my bags are sorted out. These are bags that I would actually wear. Honestly, I wouldn't wear like this bag or this bag, but I like how it looks, so I'm gonna keep it. But also, this is one of the bags that I've thrifted. Look at her. She's a coach bag. She's a little bit bigger. It's giving Shrek, and I fucking love it. But I bought her for $30, which is kind of a lot when you're thrifting, but honestly, it is so worth it. It's just so unique. I feel like most people wouldn't buy this. Like, she's screaming me. I don't know how else to tell y'all that. Anyways, guys, I think that is it for this little little declutter video i got everything out of my closet so i feel pretty good about that stay tuned i'll have a lot of these things posted on poshmark soon maybe give it like another week or two i didn't really clean up up there but that's okay i'm just happy i have a lot more space in my closet now because now i can go shopping anyways thank you guys for watching i hope you guys have been enjoying the consistency posting every thursdays at least i'm trying but happy thanksgiving i hope you guys had or are having really good delicious meals today with your friends families or loved ones that being said, I love you guys, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Time to get used to the skin. Now I can't stop getting naked. When it's being you stop feeling boring. I'm like a fucking real life.